We are not selling vape and claiming this as a 100% healthy product. We are selling vape as a harm reduction compared to smoking. In the test also, we found that a byproduct to vaping, things like lead that comes from the metal reacting with the heating element. So how do you justify that vaping can be healthier than smoking? Hello Zach, tell me how and when did Vape Empire start? Vape Empire we started in 2013. I used to be an ex-smoker. So it took me around 40 to 45 minutes to get my, my vape products. So because it's taking so far to drive away and I started to decide to start a vape shop. How has it grown? We are at 115 shops all over Malaysia. We export our e-liquids to countries mostly in Europe to New Zealand, Australia, Japan, and some parts of South America. How about your customers? Who is your main demographic? I would say for VIP users for Malaysia, it's mainly for below 35. Okay, right. and what is the age range? Like when do they start? For us, we have a policy that if you go to any of our shop, you can see that we don't serve to under 18. So basically, I would say from 18 to 35. And do you get a lot of Singaporean customers as well? When we first started our shop in 2013, I do personally serve a few Singaporean customers. But sadly, due to the law situation in Singapore, we are not able to send our goods directly to Singapore. So with some of the brands that you carry, for example, Akso, those can be found in the Telegram groups in Singapore where they are selling the liquids. Do you monitor where your products go to? For Fair Empire, I have always stress on us following the law as much as possible. How come AXO is being found in, in Singapore? To be honest, I'm not too sure. As you know, there's a huge influx of Singaporeans come for JB for holidays and they go back and they might have bought it. I'm not too sure. But for us, as a company, we have never dealt directly with Singapore customers. When we did tests on the liquids, we found that there were chemicals that were harmful and some of the chemicals, scientists are still trying to figure out what they are. Is it a concern of yours? We are not selling vape and claiming this as a 100% healthy product. We are selling vape as a harm reduction compared to smoking. In the test also, we found a byproduct to vaping uh, chemicals like formaldehyde, which is used for embalming bodies, and there are things like lead that comes from the metal reacting with the heating element. So how do you think you justify that vaping can be healthier than smoking? Okay. I'm an example of an uh, ex-smoker. I've done my, my personal health check last year. Uh, doctor have claimed my lungs, my lungs are clean. If you smoke, the, what is the main cause of illness that is caused from smoking, which is star? It's not the nicotine, it's not the flavouring or anything. If you look into the Public Health England, they have also did their studies on vape. They have declared it is 95% safer than smoking. So we do understand that we do not know what is the long-term consequences of vaping, but it is still better than smoking. If vaping is the alternative to quit smoking, so you think that having so many different sorts of flavours, that actually helps? Is that necessary? It helps to create that one from the smoker to at least try to move on to another thing. Because tobacco flavours in vape do not taste good. We do not encourage new vapours that are not smoking. That, that I want to make it clear. For Vape Empire, we do not encourage that. More and more countries increasingly are talking about a tobacco end game, which is a specific goal to get rid of smoking completely. So what that means is the, the volume of smokers is going down all the time. So if they were only going to target current smokers, that's a very poor business model. In order for their business to survive, they also need to be targeting, in that case, non-smokers, most of whom are going to be young people, teenagers. When you look at the adverts, it's pretty clear who their target audience is. 
a lot of the vapes, the designs, the colours, they're very attractive to the younger people. And we spoke to some teenagers in Singapore who vape and they say that the flavours are what attracted them. You know, mm. there's things like mango eyes, peanut butter, all these like fun sounding mm. flavours. Do you get teens coming in? Is that kind of your main customer base as well? Yeah, like I mentioned just now, we don't sell to under 18. We are not the police that we check everyone's IC, but uh, somebody looks young, we politely decline them and we don't sell to them. Yes, uh, like you talk about the flavours that involve into vape. You are trying to kick the habit of smoking and the only way that you can kick habit of smoking is to find an alternative that you can stick on. And if I'm going to vape another tobacco flavour, how do I stop smoking? So with flavours being the appeal for young people, how do you prevent younger people from picking it up or people who are non-smokers or non-vapers in the first place? We have been championing this no to under 18 quite a lot. If they want, they can definitely find some way to get their hands on some vape product. But for us, we do definitely try our best to stop it totally to sell to under 18. And what are the regulations with vaping here in Malaysia and how does it affect your business? So for now, I would say in Malaysia we are in a grey area. Government is not acting in any way towards us, but there is already pushing some steps of legalisation. Do you think that there should be regulations on the packaging? You know, similar to how cigarettes have um, health warnings or uh, ingredient lists. Yes, but it should not be the same as cigarettes. It's still, again, as I said, it's a harm reduction product. It's two different products. And you sponsor and take part in a lot of these vape conventions and events. All right. Yeah. Um, what's that like? What happens there? Most of the time, it's just to announce what new products you are going to launch. I have this new brand. This is the flavor range. This is how it works. This is how it looks. And sometimes, you know, we just give freebies to users to test because it's a new product. Who are the people who go for these conventions? Yeah, I would say normally the young 20s. What's the community of vapors like? It's more like whether you're holding the right flavours, there's a point of discussion there, you know, uh, well, yours looks cool, yours looks too childish, you know. Like back to your questions about packaging, there are some people who make it like a cartoon character. We don't agree to that because uh, this is too child appealing. It appeals to those under 18, you know, so we, we try not to touch into that. We try to go into like something which looks, looks more stylish, cool, you know, uh, nothing too child enticing, you know, they want to pick it up and try it, you know. The type of colour and the uh, positioning that they are using, the exciting and attractive uh, visuals. I am sure that uh, it would appeal to a lot of young people who think that uh, this is a cool product. And on top of just ads, I've even gotten targeted posts on social media from overseas influencers promoting vapes. Yeah. Do you feel like online personalities are a huge influence? Uh, definitely, especially if the young person uh, looks up to him or her and uh, you know, could be a follower and then they would want to try the different types of products and services that the, um, the personality is using. Do you think vaping is the future of smoking? I think so, yes. Why? Things change over time. I like to take the example of Nokia, you know how Nokia died off from the mobile industry because of uh, how iPhone and all the Android systems are taking over the world. Vaping is the new smoking. This is a problem that we saw with smoking, right, decades ago. The first evidence of their harm surfaced in the 50s. So before then, people were just smoking left, right and centre. They didn't even know it was harmful for them. And then we have this massive problem where over 100 million people have died because of it just in the last century. So I can see the same thing happening with vaping if they are harmful and if there's no checks. I started vaping 10 years ago. I stopped smoking seven years ago. My consumption of vape has reduced by at least five times now. You know, I'm slowly cutting down my vape. And so you say you want to stop vaping. What is the reason for that? Definitely once you start reach an elder age, you know, you tend to take care more of your health, you know, things that you think is not good, you'll try to stop it. This is how I look at it personally. Do you 
get lots of DMs about how to quit vaping. Primary ones would be asking me about withdrawal symptoms. Hey, Dr. Frank, I feel insomnia. My stomach is upset. I'm really irritable. When are these cravings going to go away? 